Hello my lovelies, it's me, Kooky from that Kooky corner of YouTube. <laughs> Here I am hanging around and I had a message from the um, the needle felter booklets from a lovely lady who um, would like to see the little bit where you attach the middle of your needle case to the the felted background now obviously there would be material behind this so i'm just going to do you a little quick quick tutorial very quick and she was curious as to the stitching down the middle i would usually have blanket stitched around this and so i'm going to go from this point here now let's just take it in there for now let me take you down a little bit. I'm jumping straight in here because I've got a few things I want to talk to you about. <laughs> so literally, it is just a simple back stitch. Now, bearing in mind, if you've got the material on the front, you only want to go through the felted cover layer. So that bit there. You don't want to go through to the front where all your stitching is. You're kind of catching just the felt underneath. So hopefully this will describe how this happens. And it's just a back stitch. Just, oops, not to stab myself, that would be helpful. So just doing a simple back stitch. I'm doing it in this pink so that you can see it. You can be as uh, discreet as you want. You could go the matching fabric, the matching part for your top felt if you wanted to. And I just keep going right down to the bottom. Doopy doo. And almost there to the bottom like so so you've got like a row of stitches just holding it to that base felt not going through to the the fabric on the front way stitching is just going to take it in there now i wouldn't be able to take it all the way through if i had fabric on the front so all i do then is on the inside i take myself a little bit of that felt wrap it around a couple of times and then I would lose that end. I'd kind of go through my felt, but not through the front fabric. And just come up somewhere there. And that would then be buried inside my bookcase. If you get my drift. That's how it goes. Obviously, it would take a lot more time. I've just, just pulled these two pieces out of my workbox just to show you how that goes because I, I realized it was missing from my video so thank you for for letting me know about that and so that i can just give you that little addendum stitch <laughs> for that so i'll just have a slurp of my coffee and then i'm on to something else bear with bear with look at this i got some happy mail from the lovely annie claxton at Arty Farty Annie's, pop over to her channel. There is so much there to see. I'll leave a link in my description below. This is so unexpected and so beautiful. And I'll just have a look, see if I can read some of this to you. Hey, Tori, I saw this and had to get us one each. Oh, so she got me a fabric glue pen. Excellent. I think it's going to be a little treasure. You can get the refills online. Tried it out on my latest cuff kit that you sent me. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Also, some of my handmade paper I thought you might use for your collage pieces. Lots of love, Annie. Oh, how beautiful is that? Look at that card as well. That's just lovely. Absolutely stunning. Annie, you are a diamond. And this, this is glorious. I did watch the video of Annie making this and it's so beautiful. Look at all the little bits and pieces in there. Oh my gosh, how can you part with this? This is glorious. I love it, Annie. 
it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, look, it's got little bits and pieces of things and there's onion skins. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. Annie, thank you so much. That was such a nice surprise and a really, really I love these. I don't know how I'm going to bring myself to use them in anything because they're so beautiful. I just want to look at them. <laughs> but they're beautiful. Thank you. And this, this is going to be so helpful. In, um, I've got something that I'm doing at the minute. Look at me hoovering up all these little bits. I'm going to save all these little bits of glitz. I love them. <laughs> I'm going to put them in my little thread jar and they'll get mixed in with all the little threads in there. Beautiful. So yeah, this is going to be very handy with the thing that I'm doing at the moment. Um, all will be revealed on that at the end of the month. But if you um, would like to take part in, um, it's like a little challenge. There are, I think there are 11 of us. Um, 11 artists involved in the challenge and if you want to find out about it pop along to Arty Farty Annie on Instagram and you'll see a little poster that's that says um, we want you <laughs> I think that's how it goes anyway and there's all the information there on how to join in on the challenge if you want to have a go and basically what we've got to do we've got to create a character uh, in one form or another, in any medium, based on you. So that's the prompt for this month, is you. So um, really interesting prompt. This is going to come in very handy for something I'm doing for that. I'll leave a link to that and uh, the channel and, uh, and Annie's details and everything in the description below. But thank you so much, Annie. I'm so, I'm so thrilled. This paper is glorious, but... This is going to come in super, super handy. Time for a coffee slurp and then on to the next bit. Okay, so it's cuff bracelet kit time. <laughs> is that a thing? Maybe it is now. Let me just take you up a little bit so I've got a bit more room. There's my coffee cup. <laughs> coffee, coffee. Let's put that there. So this Friday I shall be putting... There are going to be eight of each of these kits in my Etsy shop. I'll leave the details below to my shop. Um, these are going to be online at 2 p.m. That's British summertime, 2 p.m. in the Etsy shop. And that's literally when they're going to go up. I'm going to be absolutely rigid about making sure they go up at that time. But I thought you might like a little sneaky peeky of what's going to go up. So the kits, I have, have wrapped them all up. They're all, they're all ready. Um, so this one is a Milky Way. Milky Way is the darker blues, little bits of glitz always involved. You get all the threads and buttons and things in order to make your own bracelet cuff. There are instructions in there and links to the two videos that my um, bracelet cuff tutorial is on because it's split into two. That's all in the pack. So if you wanted to buy this as a gift for somebody who had never seen any of me or my, my weird ways, <laughs> then everything that they need to know is in here and they don't even have to look at me if they don't want to because the instructions are in there too. But I would say the tutorial does add a little bit of something to the whole thing. But they're free and the link is in, in here. I put the links on some, a little scrap of paper inside. So, yeah. So anyway, that is uh, Milky Way. You can see the kind of dark blues. I hope you can see through this um, cellophane. Really didn't want to unpack these just to show you. I realised I hadn't left one of each out to show you, but you you know if you know you know so that one this one is called blue raspberry blue raspberry now that is kind of like all the blues are not in this one so you've got a bit of the dark blue but you've got more of the medium -y blues and obviously a bit more glitz as well some bells and buttons and <laughs> dangly things thread and a needle and your fastenings and all that jazz is included next one is frutella now 
the last one i did was tutti frutti tutti frutti was more green based now this is it's like a reverse this is an orange base with accents of green and hot pink so there's that one you can see all the little bells and things in there we have blackpool rock with your little stick of black Pool Rock. I don't know if you've ever heard that song by George, George Formby. I just mangled it. But this is kind of like my take on a Blackpool Rock theme. So you've got jazzy fabrics, all in this kind of like pinky. If you've ever seen a stick of rock, I don't know if you have sticks of rock in America. It's kind of a thing here. So you go to a seaside resort and you'll find shops that just sell it. And the most uh, prolific um, rock that you would find is like a pink, is like a pink rock with like a white middle, and it will have the name of the place going all the way through the stick of rock. Please tell me if I'm trying, <laughs> if I'm telling Granny how to suck eggs, and you know all about rock. But just to explain why this is called Blackpool Rock, again, all the things that you need in order to make a cuff bracelet based upon that theme do this one this one is a watermelon slice now there is a story behind this um if you have seen uncle frog face's video uh, sorry <laughs> sean from uncle frog face uh, ordered one of my cuff bracelets to make on his channel i'll leave the channel link down below and uh, i think he said it was like making it was a tutti frutti one i think and um, he said it was like making a watermelon Frankenstein. <laughs> well, this is this is watermelon, but it's a watermelon slice, and there's a specific sweet, and it's kind of like shaped like a watermelon slice. This is based on that. Again, you get all the things that go with that. And the last one is a licorice twist. So all blacks and whites, everything, even a little bit of black glitz in there and all the buttons and bells and doings that you would need to make a bracelet from that. I hope that's been uh, able to be viewed. <laughs> uh, if you want more pictures, I think I've got some on my social media, so if you pop over to Instagram, you'll be able to see close-ups of the insides of these if you want to have another look and you're interested. There will be eight of each of these kits. As I will say, when they are gone, they are gone. I will be able to do things in similar ways. So you could say that that's kind of a similar to the, the um, Tutti Frutti, but it's completely different because your base is different. You've probably got some of the same kinds of materials in there, but everyone is different because I curate them all every time in a different way. Pop them to one side. That's it. I've rattled on for a little bit longer than I expected, but I thought I would want to catch you up, especially the bracelets, because they go in the shop, as I said, at 2 p.m. on Friday. That's British, uh, British summertime. And um, if you do want one, I suggest you are a little quick because they, they're the, the last lot I put in sold out in four hours. Um, I think it was I'm trying to think how many kits I put. I put six of six in there, so that'd be thirty-six kits, and they went in four hours. I've added another two onto each of these, so there's a few more to go at. So if you want any of them, um, that's where they'll be. And uh, I would like to say a thank you to everybody who supports me, especially you know people who from everywhere you know we've got so many people from different parts of the world and i'm really really so thrilled when anybody comments or gives me some feedback on things or you know just says how much they're enjoying what i'm doing because it does it does kind of spur me on <laughs> it's, it's always kind of a little spur and it's so nice when people subscribe and so nice when people give me the thumbs up to say that they're enjoying what i'm doing so with that said if you've liked the catch up and if you like it, all the tutorials don't forget put your thumbs up and also if you're interested in having a look at whatever else I do please subscribe because then you can click that bell and the bell will let you know whenever I upload a new video 
have a lovely rest of your day i won't disturb you anymore <laughs> just thought i'd catch you up with a couple of those things and also show you that little mini tutorial bye for now <laughs>